My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey folks, we have got an amazing 1970 Corvette LT1. This has got it going on. It's a body off frame, low mileage, uh, all number match, uh, factory colors, heavily documented Corvette LT1. These are copies of the originals in there, which we'll dig out in a minute. Uh, invoice, window sticker, uh, you name it. It's got it all, NCRS uh, paperwork, photos. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of photos of the restoration. Uh, so you got, couldn't ask for better documentation on a car. Now the LT1 is an amazing uh, powerhouse. It's a 370 horsepower, 350 motor, uh, a completely different type of motor. It's stronger cylinders, forged pistons. And again, I'll get into all that later, but this is a hot ticket right here. Just read up on the 70 LT1s. Uh, they don't compare them to other small blocks. They compare them to the big powerhouse big blocks. Uh, go to volocars.com. You'll be able to read more information about the car, study the pictures, and you'll find price tags on all of our collector cars for sale, including a monthly finance option as well. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is investment material right here. Uh, it just has so many good things going for it. Uh, I'll tell a little quick history. Um, it was restored back in the early 90s. It had 53,000 original miles at that time. Now it has like 65,000 miles. So uh, the restoration uh, is older, but it's been really well cared for, well preserved. Um, it's been the same collector owner for most of the last 20 years. Uh, and again, I have stacks of pictures in there of it off the frame, chassis completely apart, disassembled, restored, uh, detailed. They even put the correct uh, stickers and paint markings and the stencils on the drive shaft. So they were putting it back exactly to factory specs. Uh, but again, all the suspension rebuilt, it's independent front and back, all the steering was rebuilt, the brake system was all rebuilt, uh, e-brake assemblies all there, brake lines were replaced, fuel lines, uh, correct style dual exhaust with the square tips going out through the back valance. Uh, the fiberglass floors are raw fiberglass like they're supposed to be. I didn't notice any damage, they all look real good. The spare tire carrier is complete and looks to be in really good shape. Um, you look up at the motor, it's still clean, nice clean Chevy orange. The fuel pump, the starter, they still look real nice. Uh, it has its VIN number matching M21 Muncie four-speed transmission. It's the original one to the car. Uh, drive shaft was restored. Uh, it's got the correct 1970, uh, it has 370 Posi uh, gears in the back. So underneath the car is still really good. Uh, it is a factory Monza red car, always been red. Uh, the pictures of the body, you know, all stripped down and being restored, and they did a really nice job of it. Uh, so the body itself, the headlights and the hood fits nicely. The LT1 and the big block have this raised hood. All the others is more of a, uh, didn't have that big of a bulge. Uh, in the middle, there's like one little star spider web. They must have closed it on a wing nut. It doesn't look like it's dented. It just looks like it left some hairline cracks in the paint. Uh, but anyway, I'm looking at the body. No issues here. This is all real good. There's a factory alarm. It's not a trunk. Uh, this is all in real nice shape. I don't see any damage, nothing broken. The paint, though, it has minor imperfections. All this is really nice. On the top of both fenders, and you gotta look for it, there's a hairline, like a hairline crack right at the peak of the two front fenders. Unless it's a tape line, some sort of line right there. But the body, uh, 
very, very good shape. Uh, the red paint is very nice. Out in the daylight, standing next to it, it's beautiful. It looks like a brand new car. Um, there's a little bit of dust nubs in the paint there, little light orange peel where they didn't wet sand it out like glass. It has like a factory type finish on it. Uh, and minor imperfections. Here's a few little nicks touched up. So there's about, about 10 or 13,000 miles on it since it was restored. So nothing significant, but again, you can expect minor imperfections. Obviously, it has T-tops. We have one on, one off, just to display it uh, both ways. Uh, BF Goodrich tires look like brand new. 15 by 8 rallies. The trim is all nice and shiny. The chrome bumpers are shiny. Again, minor imperfections, but I mean, they practically look new. Uh, license plate bezel uh, is real shiny. Has the correct antenna that looks real good. Got the rubber flap in here. Gas cap looks new. The rear window pops out in 1970. Uh, this pops right out, and there's a storage shelf underneath there. You put that in, so it's practically a convertible. Um, door handles are good. Mirror's real nice. It looks new. Windshield's crystal clear. Has the white uh, LT1 striping on it. Headlights do open and close. Uh, the front bumper, I'm sure it was re-chromed when they restored it. The weather shields are behind the grill. It protects the headlights that are down in there while the headlights are closed. Uh, this car's already been through the shop and inspected, so it's ready to go. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So they've documented before, during, and after the restoration. I have stacks of pictures here. Uh, and they've documented like part numbers and you know, the condition of the car. Uh, this here is a bunch of receipts and documentation for work that was done, some miscellaneous uh, magazines about LT1s, and uh, there's a book on there to NCRS judging specs. You can see it was bodied off the frame. Uh, again, taking you through the whole process, putting the body back on the frame, the body stripped down. Uh, so that's all documented here, which is really good stuff. Now, this is where I think it really... Uh, gets special. Um, the original, I guess you'd call it order form or invoice, bill of sale. Now uh, this is the invoice. That would be the bill of sale or the order form. That's the invoice. This is the car shipping order, which has all the options, the key numbers, uh, the window sticker. It has nice options, power windows, power disc brakes, the LT1, the four-speed M21, tilt tele, AM, FM, alarm, Monza red, NCRS shipping label. Uh, this here has the serial number, engine number, key numbers. So it has some uh, good documentation. And we have good up-close pictures uh, of the numbers on our website. That'll all go with the car, of course. I like this car. I appreciate this car. It has so much good stuff going for it, and it's it's real. It's believable because it's so well documented. You don't have to wonder about it. You know what you're buying. So door jams are still nice. Weather strips are real good. Door panel looks mint. I'm sure that was replaced. Dash pads real nice. I don't see any cracks. The dash area, 66,850 miles. The red line is at 6,500. That would be in the LT1. Gauges are clean. There's quartz movement in the clock. Original AM, FM radio. Uh, good center console with the right reverse lockout shifter. 370 horsepower. 380 pounds of torque. 11 to 1 compression. You got power windows. This is all good original, it looks like to me. Seats have been stuffed. They're nice and firm the way they should be and reupholstered. Carpet and back is real nice. Oh, it looks like they have a battery disconnect right here. The 
light works back there. This here drops down. This is where you put the window. It easily pops out. It stores under there. There's bags for the T-tops. Those store right there. All the plastic trim, the visors, backs of the seats, all real good. Also a tilt telescopic wheel. The interior lights up front work as well. I just pulled up on the computer. This went through a shop, our shop for full inspection. He adjusted the timing and I do need to put premium in it because uh, 11 to 1 compression, he did. Um, he adjusted the e-brake on it. That's all he found wrong with it. I forgot to pop the hood. Let me do that now. Again, the motor is legendary. You just Google, and it's 1970 you won. After 70, they started dropping horsepower. Oh, <laughs> they were just in here checking the numbers on the carburetor, uh, which happened to be correct. I just Googled the numbers, and it is for a 70 LT1, and there's one on eBay for sale for $22 or $2,300 for the carburetor. Uh, so this engine also has... Uh, aluminum intake from the factory. Uh, it has the 202 heads. Uh, it's forged pistons. Uh, like I was saying earlier, it's got different cylinders, uh, heavy duty cylinders, uh, four bolt mains. I'm just going to set this aside for right now. Uh, these come with the finned aluminum valve covers. And all the components look to be correct. Exhaust manifolds, uh, the VIN number stamped on the front of the engine looks like a real nice proper stamp to me. The brooch marks are there. Uh, it does have the deep pulleys uh, so the belts don't fly off at high RPMs. Uh, that's for these high performance engines. Uh, original ignition shielding, the upper and lowers. Uh, looks like they did upgrade with an MSD ignition. Clutch fan and water pump look new. The alternator looks clean. Uh, it has power brakes, the radiator, the shroud. All that looks to be in real good shape. So, number matching, legendary LT1 motor right here. So in 1970, they made 1,290, something like that, LT1s total. And again, 70 is the year to have. Red is the color to have. Documentation, I haven't seen a Corvette with this much documentation in a long time. Uh, numbers matching. It just got so much going for the car. Uh, and it's a turnkey driver. It just runs functions, does everything real nice. You get on it, you'll be impressed. Uh, so this is an investment that you can truly enjoy. We got the air cleaner back on there. So that's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Uh, salesmen can help you out with your questions. They can help get this delivered to your door. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. And uh, feel free to Google 70 LT1 motors and read up about them. Uh, but the best thing to do is get behind that wheel and drive it. That's where you really find out what it's all about. Thanks for watching.